sounds like solo and ensemble is a, a countrywide thing. I mean, the whole U.S. Yeah. uses it. So they all have their kind of like own version of of solo ensemble. I've noticed. There's like different <laughs> names for it across and the And like states. in some states, it's like play two minutes of whatever song you want. Mm-hmm. But Wisconsin has, for WSMA, a set list right. that gets pulled over with a fine tooth comb mm-hmm. with educators and professionals who play that instrument go through and look at the music every mm-hmm. couple years rotation okay. to be like, is this still a good solo? Does it still hold up what we want our kids to learn? Mm-hmm. Um, and is there something better that we could put in its place? So there's solo music for every instrument and okay. even even the weird stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, you can either pick from another solo. Like if I have a soprano saxophone, if there's not a soprano list, I can pull from the clarinet list. Oh, okay. And, and oh, that's sure. okay because yeah, it's still on smart. the list. Right, exactly. Um, and then the ensembles range from duets of two people to 36-person oh, wow. groups. Uh-huh. My, my brass ensemble is like all my brass kids. Yeah, so sure. it's a it's a pretty big ensemble for yeah. some of them. Yeah, I bet. Um, and it's not it's not a competition, right? It's like a grading the, thing. The only thing you're competing with is yourself. Oh, okay. So the I judge. Like that better. I do. <laughs> Me too. Music stuff's not supposed to be a competition. No, nope. you get what you put in it, and sure. you're not competing against other people. You're just showing what you can do. Yeah. So they get a score from one to five, mm-hmm. um, and you get gold, silver, bronze, and then four or five don't get. Um, a medal or a place, but oh, okay, sure. you see, you see mostly ones and twos. Yeah, sure. Um, just because if you're showing up to solo ensemble, you put in some work. Yeah. My my kids who are doing some really high solos this year, we started back on Thanksgiving. They oh, had their music already. It. Yeah, sure. Um, and then the rest of my kids will start uh, once we're back from winter break. Okay. So my okay. like normal middle school band kids, sure. we don't need to start until we until we get back in January mm-hmm. and then we perform in March. So okay. March is when our solo ensemble is. Okay. Perfect. Ours is. Uh, right. Everybody has different times around the state. So. Mm-hmm. And so ours, yeah, ours is April? Wisconsin's is it April or March? Um, the state solo ensemble yes, is yeah, in sorry. April. It is in yeah, April. Yeah, for the high okay. schoolers oh, and okay. for middle schoolers who are taking high school level pieces. Ah, so, I got you. Do you yeah. have a lot of those? Or? In our in our small town, mm-hmm. uh, we don't. I actually don't like doing class A, which is the yeah, sure. ha, the hard high schools. I actually don't like doing those with middle school. Uh, I could see that. I yeah. don't feel because we don't start until sixth grade. Oh, so really? Okay. I feel like they haven't gained the musicality mm-hmm. yet to take on that hard one, even yeah. if they have notes and rhythms down, just the the weight of a class A solo is so much. Sure. I have, of course, freak of nature band kids who right. go above and beyond. My bass clarinet player went to state last year as a seventh grader because oh, she did wow. a class A solo. So then she was up there with high school High schoolers, in that. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. it's, it's nice to have that opportunity sure. for kids who are going to put in so much time right. just to shine, you mm-hmm. know? So that's my favorite part about solo ensemble is the growth musically, yeah. stepping out of your comfort zone to play for a judge, but also just the ability to just sparkle. Yeah, sure. Yeah.